Order. The time for this debate has expired. Before I call the next order of business, I just want members, particularly more recently elected members, to refer to Speaker's Ruling 47.1. Where possible, members should not read speeches. However, no member other than the Speaker may interrupt a member who is speaking to suggest a breach of this convention. And the Speaker may allow speeches to be read in some circumstances. Such circumstances may relate to the technical nature of the material under discussion or the relative experience of the member concerned. I, I send a message particularly to newer members. Have your notes at all times if they help you, but you will make a substantially better contribution, particularly to a debate like a general debate, if you can refrain from actually reading your speeches. I call on members' order of the day number one. Parental Leave and Employment Protection Six Months Paid Leave Amendment Bill Committee Stage Continued. I declare the House in committee for further consideration of the Parental Leave and Employment Protection Six Months Paid Leave Amendment Bill. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Chairman. The House is in committee for the further consideration of the Parental Leave and Employment Protection Six Months Paid Leave Amendment Bill. When the committee last considered this bill, we were debating new clause six. The Honourable Ruth Dyson has the call uh, in 12 seconds, if she so wishes. Chris Hipkins. Hey, Mr. Chair, I understand uh, if I'm, uh, that we're debating new clause six as the uh, That's exactly current, what I just current said. debate. Yes. That's just what he said. I was busy reading the clause, and so I didn't want to make sure I didn't want to get it ro uh, wrong ro 